CDC-TV presents Health Matters. Well, it seems I have your attention. Where did you come from? I'll explain later. I see you're interested in finding out about HIV AIDS. Well, I'm here to help. Great, because I have a lot of questions. And I have a lot of answers. Okay, here we go. Okay, so just how widespread is HIV AIDS? HIV AIDS is a global problem, with more than 34 million cases reported worldwide in 2010. That's huge. Yes, and in the U.S. alone, over 1 million Americans are infected with HIV, and more than 20% of those don't know it. What kind of infection is HIV exactly? HIV. The human immunodeficiency virus is a virus that kills the human body's cells that help fight off infection and disease. There's no cure. But with proper medical care, people with HIV can live long, healthy lives. What about AIDS? HIV causes AIDS, or acquired immune deficiency syndrome. HIV infection destroys the body's immune system, and when it fails, a patient can develop AIDS, become very sick, and die. More than 16,000 Americans with AIDS die each year. The virus can be transmitted to anyone. In the US, men who have sex with men account for more than half of all new HIV infections each year. But others are also at risk, especially African Americans. It appears that many diverse people are at risk. So how do you get infected? The main ways people are infected are having unprotected sex or sex without a condom with someone who has HIV. The virus can be in blood, semen, or vaginal secretions. It can enter the body through tiny cuts or sores in the skin, the lining of the vagina, penis, rectum, or mouth also sharing needles and drug equipment. And babies born to women with HIV also can become infected during pregnancy, birth, or breastfeeding. Aren't there a lot of myths about how you can get HIV? You cannot get HIV by being around someone with HIV, or from saliva, sweat, tears, clothes, drinking fountains, phones, or toilet seats or through everyday things like sharing a meal, insect bites and stings, donating blood, or from a casual closed mouth kiss. So French kissing is risky? It would be extremely rare that way. And only if there were contact with blood. For example, if the mouth or gums were bleeding. Good to know. How do I find out if I have HIV or AIDS? Doctors can offer HIV tests, or you can go to a local public health office or healthcare clinic. Who needs to get tested? CDC recommends all Americans, ages 13 to 64, get tested at least once to know their HIV status to help prevent spreading the disease. Annual HIV testing is recommended for persons with ongoing risk for HIV, such as injection drug users or people with multiple sex partners. Recent data suggests that high-risk men who have sex with men should be tested more frequently. And pregnant women should get tested to lower the chance of giving HIV to their baby before, during, and after birth. Why is testing so important if there's no cure? Because there is treatment. If you find out that you have HIV, you can get early medical care. It can help to slow the disease, support your immune system, help you live a longer, healthier life, and you could prevent giving the virus to others. What can you expect from an HIV test? 
A healthcare professional takes a blood, urine, or oral sample, and sometimes you may even be able to wait for your confidential results. So if you want to find out more, you can visit HIVtest.org to find a testing site near you. This is great information, but I have a big question. How can you protect yourself? Abstinence, or not having sex, is the surest way to protect yourself. But if you do have sex, make sure it's only with a partner who's not having sex with others. Has been tested, and you know for sure is not infected. Also, consistent and correct use of a condom every time a person has sex can prevent transmission. And never sharing needles or drug equipment will also protect you. Infection from HIV sounds totally preventable. If everyone gets the facts and gets tested, it would be a good start to preventing the spread of HIV. So ask your doctor for an HIV test. It's the only way to know for sure. Thanks, I'll take that advice. Great, well it's time for me to go. Hey, where are you going? Back to work. Cool, but before you leave, I have to ask you again, where did you come from? Oh, that's quite simple. I'm with the CDC.